Ratchet Clank. So you already know you're in for a good video game when 1988's the future date. <laughs> Our camo exactly matches the floor. We, the special mission unit, were sent here to rescue hostages upon a request from the Lloyd government. There was, however, no sight of a camp at the designated location. We had been tricked by the Lloyd regime. What met our eyes instead was... Where are, we, where are his eyes? I think this the forward guy's the commander because he has eyes. Oh. Gosh, <laughs> dude. He's killed our animation! <laughs> Wait, where are they now? Oh. How could Lloyd's government betray us? Why Lloyd's government? Why did we become anime? Per Wait, what? what? Colonel Kadar of the Republic of Libid. Mr. Lee of the Hong Kong Mafia. Chairman Steve of the Dual Foundation. Dr. Garcia, a brilliant These physicist. These were the best stereotypes With we could these find four as its notice. core figures, Force Project, an international armband, band, began its evil arm activity. Band. Its aim was to rule oh, the world by organizing massacres, too, uh, blackmailing, yeah. terrorism, and smuggling of weapons. <laughs> well, that's not a very friendly logo. <laughs> Jesus' the skeleton is crushing yes, the earth. Yes, Mr. President. <laughs> we're certain that Lloyd betrayed us. What? It seems that the Force Project is behind them. Their ability should not be underestimated. Fucking Lloyd. Yes, I have someone in mind. Yes, my mustache is incomplete. This. Is it over? He's entrusted me with the task. <laughs> On this so piece of paper. So you ask him then? The only person who could possibly fight the Force Project is this man. Guy Kazama is the only one. I'm sorry to hear that. His neck is bigger than his head, if you notice. This is, uh, this is Last Alert. The game that came out for the, uh... PC Engine CD-ROM in, I think, 1990. So that 1988 thing, I guess, happened in the past. Okay. Um, so they're not too distant future past. Right. I was kind of interested in this game when I was younger. It looked like uh, another game I liked called Bloody Wolf, but I'm very glad I didn't get it yeah. because you're going to see or have already seen it. So Sin Nihon Laser Soft wasn't the best game developer? It's surprising <laughs> with that name. But yeah, I would like, think it would be better than Death Squad Soft. I thought I'd find you here. I thought we'd always do things together, even when we die. We've um, received a report that Lloyd and the Force Project jointly developed huh? a stealth aircraft. Did we miss some exposition? You're not expecting me to steal it. That's what I want. I want to force choke Spartan you Spartan right has already infiltrated into Lloyd's frontline base, Blue Rhinos. Imagine I'm He'll be your assistant ball. on this mission. Am I not holding a water well, bottle? I owe Lloyd and the Force Project one, and I always make it a rule to get square with these guys. Yeah, um... Oh? Was, uh -huh. This went way too fast, I'm sorry. We should pay more attention. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> you should have in your belt there, buddy, on the <laughs> knife. You know, you might want to stick with the gun over the sword. Just saying. <laughs> Speaking of uh, saying. No, no. <laughs> I think he's actually on fire right now. I am in severe pain right now. Why does a man like that need teammates? What is this thing in the middle supposed to be uh, exactly? We'll see it again. Now the actual gameplay started. Alright. Launch tennis balls. We have a handgun, allegedly. Which is not even pictured, only in certain rotations. You know, the sound effects are just so spot on. No, yeah, they really did a good job. I can't believe the game this gory got released in 1988. <laughs> oh my god. Last Alert was really ahead of the times here. Yeah, Sounds good. like you're splashing water on them when you're hitting them. <laughs> well, fortunately, as you notice, there are RPG elements to last floor. Oh, yeah. Right now, we're level one ranger. Oh, so you'll become a Beastmaster shortly. I think so. Right. So unlimited ammo. Mm -hmm. I'm not quite sure what we're doing. I think we're going after the Lloyd. You're contacting your teammates and uh, oh, infiltrating yeah, yeah. the enemy base. But we're, said. but we're going after Lloyd. Who, which... Who's, Lloyd is, Lloyd is not, ch I, all right, so, actually, I do know a little. Lloyd is Chairman Steve. His name is Steve Lloyd, which is completely... <laughs> oh, you got a Bomberman pickup right there. Oh, yeah, no, there's totally, so like... So if you lay like, bombs, they'll explode farther. I think so. This yeah. is the Snowflake power-up. Oh, Christ. Let's see what it does in a bit. Oh, we upgraded to Sharpshooter. No. We're a Sharpshooter. Wait, that's shooter. the next level beyond Ranger? <laughs> yeah, it's Rango's Ranger, than Sharpshooter. All right, you're good with the bow and arrow. Now use this gun. You can tell I am a Sharpshooter, though, because just these bullets go everywhere. <laughs> but they're killing people off-screen that you can't see. Right. 100% accurate. Yeah. No need to reload, it's very efficient. No, 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 it's perfect, yes. That's how pistols work in 1988. Right. <laughs> I was carrying this giant med kit off. By the way, danger keep out. Mm. We should probably turn around. Oh, yeah. oh, you evaded those bullets somehow. Uh, somehow. Shocking, really. Should I fire at him? Oh, too late to decide. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. He was like looking at the bushes. His keen reaction time wasn't quite enough. 
So I like how there's no nondescript cliff to the south. Like, nah, it's just a rock wall. Don't worry about <laughs> yeah, it. Okay. <laughs> and I think soon we're gonna see the world's tiniest truck. <laughs> there it is. Damn, your character. Well, everybody in the world is tall as hell. <laughs> It's, it's a smart truck. It's like a smart car. That, that Jeep, these Jeeps on the right don't even need steering wheels, wind, windshields, anything. They're just decorative pieces to make it look a convincing army base. Pretty much. Wait. Guy Kazama, if you don't want the hostage killed, you should keep quiet. Guy, the stealth bomber is in the back of this factory. Oh my god, it's a Muppet. Okay, Spartan, hang in there just a while longer. Waka waka waka. <laughs> So wait, that's what the snowflake does. <laughs> <laughs> this is a strategy employed. The hostage is literally a shield for this boss. And there's the flamethrower, which barely <laughs> ever works. Oh, you picked that up. Is it, uh, what? what? That's my You're colleague. Calling? Yeah. <laughs> a lot happens off screen in this game. Apparently so. Now we have to set. It's like eight, a Greek play. <laughs> we have to set eight time bombs inside the hangar. Uh, All right. Okay. I'm, I'm okay with that. So these red X's tell you where to set the time bombs. Employee shooting gallery. <laughs> Everyone stand in a straight line. Don't move, no matter what. We gotta happens. make this really easy for them. What was the X marks the spot thing? Oh, is that your <laughs> that, that's bomb? That's where you set the bombs. The time we bombs. want to make sure we tell him where he needs to place the bombs to destroy the base. He needs exactly eight to blow this up. Get no precise more. coordinates to him. I love in video games these grenade throwing guys who like lob a grenade and they're like, um, yeah, all right. That was the exact same thing that you used the last power up for. <laughs> it's the same thing. <laughs> well, you see, we get now we have. Oh, we got a pokeball now. Yeah, that's the orb power up in the lower right. We only have one of those. The orb. orb power. I don't know if you noticed, but we leveled up to sniper. It's not a. St well, how's that different from sharpshooter? The thing is, I'm such a good sniper that I'm actually using a pistol and I'm walking <laughs> over a giant key card in the center of the floor, <laughs> and another one. <laughs> Set design was not a priority uh, in last door. <laughs> oh, that's the stealth bomber, I suppose. Oh, and you need to place a bomb next to it. Apparently. Let's just get some help here first, yeah, though. Sure. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so. Yeah. So, hold, so basically, the, the one button shoots and the two button throws grenades, and if you hold down the one button, you'll shoot forever and face the same direction. <laughs> it's good for strategy, which, as you can see, you need a lot of in last door. I'm not yeah, quite sure yeah. why it's the last alert either. No, no, this was the logical next step for the Contra series, in my opinion. <laughs> I agree with you, seriously. But I like how they ground it in more of a realistic setting. Yeah, absolutely. Going after Lloyd's government yeah. and the stealth. Slightly slower traveling bullets. You know, mm -hmm. that's how exactly. what, what was that? That was a good, that was a grenade, I suppose. Oh yeah, grenades sound like. <laughs> <laughs> I like the little the little detail here. There's a green toolbox we're walking by by the stealth oh, bomber. No, that makes it a convincing army base. Yeah, now it's like, well, we haven't finished fixing it up yet. That's, <laughs> I'm going to leave my toolbox here and come back after There's a lunch. a little more construction to this slightly unfinished area. <laughs> hey, uh, this, this stealth bomber doesn't need a wing. Just put an <laughs> oil barrel there. Oh, what about the toolbox? No. I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. I, I upgraded to a new gun somehow. So now I have the Uzi. Oh, the bolts fire a little bit faster now. They're red, too. That's yeah. the big difference. Red's a very severe color. No, that's more powerful, yeah. Yeah. That'll take out a tank in much many fewer hits than normal. Mm -hmm. But anyway, let's, we have to seek out uh, how many more? Five more time bombs, I suppose? <laughs> Cause I suppose so. If you're going to blow up a stealth bomber hangar site, you, know, you should make it as monotonous as possible. <laughs> really helpful. So what's the level after Sniper? Uh, knight? <laughs> Vassal, maybe? <laughs> I'm hoping Wizard, strangely. <laughs> I think after that, I think, well, there's a job system involved, is oh, okay. the thing. So you have to, like, climb a skill tree. So you become a sniper with a subclass of sharpshooter. Right. Okay. I, I'm going to put some more po mana points in shirtless shooting, <laughs> I think, when I had the chance. We'll come back to that other. By the way, uh, you'll see it later, up later, but the, the flamethrower is bugged as fuck and doesn't hit anybody. <laughs> there we go. That's four, I think. Okay. We're halfway I'm assuming done. the next one is going to be... No, don't be surprised. Next to a stealth fighter? <laughs> well, if you're going to blow up a stealth hangar, I think that's really the logical place for it. Yeah. I like the series of key cards at the bottom, by the way. That was a really great level design. Oh, there. that one barrel is a lot more explosive than the other, so it's a good <laughs> well, thing you put that bomb there. Well, the others were marked water, but that <laughs> yeah. one was TNT. See, that barrel has the class of sniper, <laughs> so it causes a lot more damage when it explodes. I, I can't wait to level up, and I think one more guy will do it. Yes, uh, now we're Corporal. corporal. <laughs> yep. That's how it goes. Ranger, sharpshooter, sniper, corporal. The ultimate class is Beetle Bailey. <laughs> yeah. 
That's that's a theoretical level. I don't know if scientists have isolated the Beale Bailey level. So you're level one four times? Yeah. No, Is that, it, okay. That's, uh, that's how that works in the army. That's... <laughs> Okay, we got them all. Now we have to. I like to think my guy is screaming escape one. Escape! Escape one! <laughs> oh my god, we did not prevent him from escaping somehow. <laughs> Employee escape prevention two. <laughs> uh oh, boss time. Uh oh. Well, uh -oh. if you just. Oh, I see there's a welcoming committee out for me. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so. The tank's just like, I have no response to that. <laughs> Pretty much every boss has dialogue. And because it's loading off the CD, it kind of like pauses like that. It's How many takes do you think that took? Before they were like, you know, that's it. That's that's the sense of fear we want. <laughs> I'm gonna miss a number between zero and two. Oh. Colleague. Um, yeah. I didn't know you were a white collar. <laughs> Escape now. Oh, you're over here. Board the stealth aircraft. Well, you piloted. blew them all up. No, no, they piloted one. Piloted by your teammate. Right. So what was your teammate doing in the previous level? Since I don't you know, but him in the first? off screen he's apparently <laughs> piloting a stealth bomber. There's some poo oh, and you just going can't out see of the, that, the yeah. draft on the left, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're, this is the dog walking area. So we're just gonna slowly drive jeeps and motorcycles at you. They're making the same sounds as a toy laser gun I had when I was six years old. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but the highest quality audio. Woo! Woo! <laughs> woo! Can you imagine too how slow these jeeps and <laughs> motorcycles are going if you can walk faster than them backwards? I knew we shouldn't have upgraded our golf carts, we should have gotten new vehicles. <laughs> we spent it all on our stealth aircraft. Oh, you only have a minute 27 to do this. Can oh my you, god, uh... can it be done? <laughs> oh no, <laughs> my accelerator's not working. <laughs> oh! Hurry, last alert boy! It sounds like Daffy Duck recorded the sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, look, look upgrades to Special Forces and then Captain. <laughs> Two levels oh, in one. Now you're level five and level one. <laughs> I know, it's great. You got a silver medal. <laughs> this music is so awesome, by the way. It's totally not the same thing. It's repeated. amazing how your character's walking backwards this whole time with such efficiency. I know, and in 1988, they had these floating orbs that would shoot with you. Yeah. We fire Uzi shots, though slightly less fetching. I like how they use Gradius upgrades for this game. Oh, wait. Oh, still, the bomber's very slowly taking off. Oh, that's the one pilot. No, I have to ride on. Yeah, it's my colleague. <laughs> your colleague? Remember who we shot a million times? Oh, I set up an Outlook appointment for you, me to join you in the stealth bomber. <laughs> Will you please accept? I'll warn you 15 minutes before me. That's it. <laughs> that's it. That's, it was kind of uneventful, honestly. That's all I have to say about it. <laughs> oh, now, this go... is a different scene, actually. I was, I was about to say, that didn't go very well. Uh, who are you? Uh... We are from the Force Project. You'll have to come with me. I'll be back, by the way. <laughs> I have a knife and two grenades on the front of my jacket. <laughs> FYI. Did you hear about the jetliner that crashed in the Republic of Flett on the eastern side a week ago? No. Mm -hmm. It seems President Allman has been taken prison. It looks like President Allman is imprisoned in a camp on top of Mount Alt, about 50 kilometers northwest of the capital. She's talking with her blinks. That's why I want you to. You don't have to say any more than that. Well, you just like I cannot say anything more than that because my mouth does not move. We don't even need to animate any of this. All right, so go to the ski lodge. <laughs> See, they communicate with each other through stern looks, and the narration was for our best. You know what I'm thinking right now, right? All right. <laughs> Is it about President Allman? Yeah. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Figures. Oh, you're a major now. <laughs> and now I've got the Armalite M16, the spread gun, aka. Huh. You know this is getting more contra by the second. You know what's a good idea in a video game is to give your players a spread gun with unlimited ammo for the rest of the game. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, so this is... Well, that should be a... This is not going to be a tough video game from here on it's out. It's okay, right? because where the gameplay is easy, the plot intrigue increases so much more. Exponentially, really. I Fine. bet it has to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the shadow work here. This is a really well-done level. <laughs> the pink snow. Good art. It's a good thing these guys are carrying missiles with them. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, we're getting a little bit of forest here. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Copy paste a few times. That's, oh, we ran out. Everybody, get cover behind this fallen log. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Damn it, I knew this two centimeter tall log wouldn't protect us. Damn it, he's gonna get my snowflake now. <laughs> he's already got nine grenades. He's unstoppable. And that snowflake is very unique. <laughs> 
Sir, is there any way to make our bullets go faster? No. Excuse me? <laughs> I don't think you're Lloyd government material, son. <laughs> How first world do you think we are? <laughs> now take your baseballs. Whoa. Wait, what was that? That was two grenades. Now the, guy, oh. the other guy's thinking about three. Yep, he's gonna uh. throw another one. My aim is terrible. <laughs> Should I throw another grenade? I just throw now, do those logs actually block your bullets? Oh, they do. Yeah, they do. Those logs must be about four feet tall. They're tied down for a reason. And apparently, it only snows from the east in this world. <laughs> well, you know, snow only grows on one side of logs. Oh, is that how it yeah, is? It yeah, it is. And yeah. that's how you can find your way. Exactly. That. Gotcha. Exactly. Gotcha. We know these things by being a major. <laughs> so sorry. Your intelligence increases exponentially. Right. I, I have to wonder where we're going to go from here. I'm going to tell you now, there's like about 20 levels or so. 20? Yeah. It goes up. That's why they consolidated so. one five of our eagles into a nickel eagle. <laughs> <laughs> so that way we know exactly how many eagles we are. That's good. You might wonder if there's anything in that open cabin. There isn't. Okay. I, I kind of assumed <laughs> that it's just... Bad set pieces that don't... Oh, by the way, look, the same barrels. Only now they're brown and snowing on the right. Yeah, it's consistent with the snow, at least. Yeah, exactly. Except for that rock. Well, the, and, and those the tree. trees. Yeah. yeah. No, you yeah. can't snow on everything. And the south side of those logs. All right, well, that actually, that log was facing east originally, but they rotated <laughs> They turned it there. around for strategic cover. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, That's, they figured they could hide behind that. <laughs> Man, this music conveys the sense of gunning your way through a snow resort. I really feel like Ski I'm resort. saving a cold president right now. <laughs> oh man, I got hit by a grenade yeah. and it did one inch oh, man. of damage. I feel slightly less vital than I did before. <laughs> Good thing I'm a major and now I can take about 12 yeah. grenades. Before I'm I... a major. A major pain to these enemies. <laughs> uh -oh. oh man, my cover did not work. <laughs> I smell a boss. You just fought this guy. And... Almond's already been taken away. Well, then all I need to do is let you tell me where he is. Did what? his accent change? No, we have to get these guys to tell him where he is. Where is he? Man, there's not two, but four Man, bosses. If only I could face any other direction except direct south. How are we going to fight these guys who are twice the size of normal <laughs> humans? I know, they're as tall as those logs. I know, all they need to do is sidestep, too. It's gonna oh, be you a took a hit. You yeah. can only take... <laughs> only a dozen more. I know, only a, only a dozen more, and then I'm fucked. <laughs> and I his baseballs go slightly faster than the standard enemies. He's shooting three at a time, too. Oh my god. He's almost got regular If only you technology. could do that. Oh. <laughs> Guy Kazama really... He exploded. Wait, how? I died, oh. here's where the president is! <laughs> He seems to have been transferred. We're not really sure on that one. Another base that's slightly to the west. All right, now we have another do multiple things missions. They run out of ideas for this pretty <laughs> soon. I'm just gonna tell you. Oh, but uh, um, a hostage rescue though. That's pretty exciting. I, yeah, and we're here in a base, which I guess you drive in. You didn't and, stop. No, no, that's I guess if you're driving. I don't know. What I get, I don't really get is if this is outdoors or indoors. Because the snow doesn't... Well, they're telling the snow to stop, so it's not growing on the right side of the barrels anymore. I feel like they've no, plowed going the, base, on the Jeeps, though. is what happened. <laughs> like, we can't drive our non-existent tanks through here. <laughs> oh, okay, there they are. Oh, that was, there was a half dozen enemies there. I was worried for a second. <laughs> I know, no. Oh, I took a hit. <laughs> but that's okay, because I'm about to level up. <laughs> Wait, what is beyond major? Uh, well, we're gonna find out pretty soon, I'm my friend. I'm kind of excited. More guys. Maybe it's Tank Buster. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was not expecting that. <laughs> you weren't? <laughs> I guess they kind of gave up on the rank ranking convention here. <laughs> Are you ready to be aircraft bomber? <laughs> I don't know. Tank Buster's a big job. Wait, there's a snowman. <laughs> you're so. a Tank Buster, but you're no Jeep Wrangler. We got a little silly with our game, gave a snowman with eyebrows, you know, whatever. We're gonna keep the guys basically bleeding to death and... What is that guy doing? That's, doing the pee dance. That's a hostage. Oh, it's a hostage. He has to pay. Oh. And we're just gonna pick him up like a coin. <laughs> <laughs> That's saving hostages for ya. It's okay, I'm a tank buster. Get over here. <laughs> just jump on my back. Fortunately, our guy put on a shirt for stage two. It's short sleeve, but you know, it's cold out. I mean, you know, you gotta... Well, you're firing really hot bullets. 
Oh, is that what's happening? Yeah. I mean, I look see. at how red they are. I mean, we can't go shirtless. They're oh, there's a little that. Easter egg there? Yeah, yeah there's another there. snowman. And the snow's growing on the right side of the snowman. Plus, he's, he's, again, he's, I don't know how they made his eyebrows. That's Why did they have cool. him make him have such a neutral facial expression? Well, like, you can make a snowman, but don't have too much fun, guys. <laughs> I mean, come on. It's just still a serious game. Yeah. Look how they bleed out after you shoot them, too. It's not <laughs> like... Just instantly. Yeah. Oh, he shot the hostage, but oh, yeah, well, whatever. Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> He's really made out of money, hence the sound effect. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Look, I'm a tank buster, okay? That's beyond even major. Or corporal. Or captain, somehow. <laughs> You're right. I'm not sure they thought about the order. <laughs> Just make level 3 sniper, I think. Hey, you made the exact same snowman as me a little bit up there. Yeah, hey, here's a secret location. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is great. This is if, like, well, if they got off the map, I guess we should give them something. <laughs> See an old video game. Oh, that narrow corridor is impacting yeah, your bullet trajectory. That, that really fucked with the spread gun programming. Oh, right. man. You got pickups. Now you have even more of everything. <laughs> I know, yeah, I know. <laughs> Some programmer's like, narrow corridors? Are you crazy? <laughs> We better put some power-ups there for him to find this little secret. What do you? What year do you think this is? 1989? <laughs> Come on. I mean, this is a, that's at least 90s shit. <laughs> we can't knock over these barrels. That <laughs> the snow only seems to have gotten the bottom of the barrels. Yeah. I don't quite They've know. been there for a very long time. The snow's growing upwards. Oh, I yeah. see. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> Why do they, they spin around when they die like a little ballerina dance? Yeah, I know it's an old video game, but I literally just outran a bullet there. <laughs> Like it was following me. That's the red uh, first aid kit, by the way. Oh, yeah, that and how's that different really, than the regular one? That's really healing. <laughs> that's like, you can't even fucking believe it. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Man, no wonder I'm a tank buster with this kind of fighting going on. Man, if there was a tank here, it would be, well, busted, <laughs> to be honest. Well, I got, the, I mean, <laughs> I've been doing the job since level 1-2, and yeah. they finally gave me the promotion yeah. to match it. They finally saw my credentials. Hold like, out. you know, you're... Oh. We're about to level up. Oh, what's beyond the coveted oh. tank buster? I don't know. I've got 30 more points, and then it's... It's... Bullet snowman... Oh, no, I'm sorry. I completely missed that. It was... Uh, we the, next, the... the next level is snowman melter, actually. Yeah. <laughs> you know what it was? Now my guy streaming help me. Help me one? I think it's help may, actually. Help may. Help may? My, my anime girlfriend. Please help her. <laughs> I'm just going to keep saying it until someone does. <laughs> You know, now the people are coming up to address your concerns, but you're shooting them. <laughs> you said May needs assistance? Ah! <laughs> May's the name of my snowman, please don't shoot it! Snowman, are you gonna help May? <laughs> ow! Ow! I'm, I'm a little hurt. Oh well, I picked up a giant first aid kit, so I think I'll be okay. I'll just affix that to my body, and that, that's how just that works. Just like these half dozen hostages I've collected up to this point. <laughs> None of these head hostages were the pres were President Allman, so... I like to think he's dragging them behind him like cans on a Just Married car. Oh, Mr. President Allman, it's nice to see you're safe. You have a question? Thank you. I'm glad to see you made it safely. Now it's time for you to die. <laughs> well, um... I'm going to filibuster the hell out of you. <laughs> this just didn't go as planned. Your life has been vetoed. They don't quite explain this, but apparently this is a, an imposter president. Oh. I thought he made an executive decision. I think the smarter thing would have done to have been to, like, go back to the country and, you know, continue Yeah, being I think president. so. <laughs> that would be... No, he's waving, the president he exploded. Up. He was a robot the whole time. Oh. Uh, see, we... <laughs> hurry. <laughs> According to one of the rescued hostages that was on your shoulders. I really think that hurry uh, uh, required an explanation point. Excla exclamation point. Because, you know, that's a uh, hurry. Whatever. All right, this is the real rescue the president level. <laughs> Sorry about that last one. <laughs> yeah. This is the non-snowy bay. Our ocean is a little glittery. <laughs> I hope you'll <laughs> Sorry about off. that. These guys just walk on tanks. <laughs> they, they died in tandem. <laughs> You're used to it, though. You're a tank buster, right? <laughs> <laughs> they don't even get in the tanks because they know it's the idea. Yeah. He's going to bust us if we get in there. We better be careful. <laughs> of course, when... Oh. What? Now we're a colonel. <laughs> okay. I think tank buster was a little more badass than colonel. No, apparently, uh, apparently not. Okay. Well, now they're going to get in the tanks because they doubt your credentials. I've seen this in video games before when you have a dock with, like, a hole in the center of the dock. Yeah, what's so the sure... purpose of that? I don't know. And there's a snowman. This is our, uh, kids' pool. <laughs> kids, everybody duck down. The colonel's shooting over all of us. <laughs> what is with the snow woman? Is it a woman? Uh, that's a little sad. I that guess one. It's, well, it's melting, probably. There's no snow around It's here. melting because you moved a few yards south of where you were before <laughs> where they really took the real president <laughs> yeah we swear to god this time follow the snowman trail the more depressed snowman you find the closer you are to the president 
Do you think like one of the like the writers of this game um, was like, oh my god, wait a minute, what if there was a fake president? <laughs> we'll totally trick him for that one level. Everyone in the developer room is like, oh my god, I can't believe this is only 1988, and we're coming up with these amazing ideas. <laughs> Whoa, watch out for those bullets there, buddy. <laughs> Oh, you fired them just the right way where all the bullets missed them. <laughs> the downfall to your ultimate power. That's okay, we're back to snow now. Oh, okay. It's, it's a little colder north of the dock. That's right. the idea. You're getting, yeah, the climate changes with the upper latitudes. <laughs> There's a pedestrian crossing that we're going to have right now. You just jaywalked, Colonel. <laughs> have you no discipline? I don't know how you, what army you advanced in. <laughs> Well, as I saw, the tank busters had to have a little more decorum before they could vote the girl. <laughs> Since cluster of three behind a power-up thing is really getting kind of old, last the Well, word. he got another one of our missiles. <laughs> All right. Oh, well. What can you do? <laughs> Just keep running at him. Yeah. Eh? Shoot if you like. I mean, I don't think it'll do any good. He's a colonel. Look, it's got to work sooner or later, right? Throw a conveyor belt in there. <laughs> That'll fuck him up. Two of them. And so badly animated, you can't really tell which way they're going. <laughs> The conveyor belt doesn't affect us when we step on it, right? No, just the tiny boxes that we're okay. putting on there. Oh, okay, right. The tiny explosive boxes. It's strange how that works. It's much smaller than our normal crates. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I smell a boss. Yeah. A this, in this epic boss. arena that we're in right now. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, shit. The president is an important guest for us, too, you know. I can't let him go. <laughs> I love him. That makes me want to get him back even more. <laughs> <laughs> Is this some weird love triangle that we've stepped in? <laughs> oh man, can we dodge the dual assault of rockets and crates? <laughs> I think not! I am a colonel, you know. That just makes you want to get the president that much more. <laughs> Thank God, because you really wanted him back. <laughs> Seriously. Here's 10,000 points, by the way. Before, I kind of wanted him back, but now... Where'd all the snow go? No, no. This is very sudden, Leonard. Well, take a look at this. This is... Colonel Kadat of Libid. A you know really him? unfortunate Fu Manchu. Well, he's a famous man, controlling all the terrorists around the world. I didn't even want to get an autograph from him. I want you to assassinate him. What? That wild horse Robert from the Green Berets phase? He's been captured what? What? and is in the Arcado camp. Colonel Kadat is in hiding. I hear that the only ones who know of his whereabouts are his guards, red, blue, and black. Those are colors. <laughs> so I'll have the pleasure of becoming friends with them. <laughs> you, right, you, you, you heard your mission right, correct? <laughs> We're going to Transylvania. Oh, you're going to Dr. Wiley's castle. <laughs> <laughs> so the, this is Steve. I, think. I have several pounds of beef on my abdomen, by the way. <laughs> Oh, Robert. I'm sorry, it's Robert. Oh, I forgot his name. Another colonel? Yeah, He's gonna be just as powerful as you. <laughs> not, that's gonna, not that's gonna be level. your hardest boss yet. No, no, no. Oh, we got shit. Okay, never mind. You're beyond him. <laughs> We're major general now. <laughs> we And we happen to parachute into where these oh. dead soldiers Now are. you're wearing your Blackthorn outfit, I see. Mm -hmm. As you can see, also, uh, they... Uh... Oh, they've actually put uh, pre... Uh, already programmed dead bodies in here. Mm -hmm. Also, there's a, a big section of barrels. I don't know if you noticed, carefully arranged. Barrels in this game? I <laughs> know, it's shocking. And they're purple? Without snow? <laughs> no, and there's blue ones, too. They went all out on their barrels. Yeah, this is some 90s video gaming if I've ever seen it. I know, tell me about Way it. Way beyond the late 80s. <laughs> <laughs> I would only expect to see something on this like on a PlayStation 6 or 7, really. But, <laughs> right, you Jesus. Know, we've got it here now. So what are you doing? Yeah, well, the exposition have... kind of went over my head, I'll admit. Um, okay, there's Colonel Kadat. Right. Oh, and there's, we're collecting more. Oh, you collected more. Yeah. Uh, look, I'm we're... just relaxing on the bed. Can... Oh, okay, I'll go with you. <laughs> we're trying to find Robert, the guy who was, um, who had, like, uh, roast beef coming off of his stomach. I mean, Is I this know. the guy that you want to get the autograph from? No, that's Colonel Kadat. Oh, okay. Right, who's friends with Chairman Steve, Mr. Okay. Lee, and, um... Uh, some, uh, okay. oh, the brigand. Is there a level where you rescue a tank buster? No, 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 because we are a tank buster. Well, you were. Were, yeah. Yeah. Well, that was behind. Well, you were also a colonel. I'd have to imagine the people who are rescuing are of lower rank than us, and therefore may be tank yeah. busters. Yeah, that's possible. Mm -hmm. But for now, it's just walking around the base <laughs> and watching the purple barrels. Let's just casually stroll over. Oh, hey. <laughs> 
Don't fire until you're two inches away from him. <laughs> you're breaking the rules. Oh wait, don't worry, we found another hostage. Thank boy. Yeah, he's chilling on that bed despite all the chaos. I know, he's fine with it. This is a strange room where they just put a lot of benches in here. Well, the pillows are in the middle of that bed. <laughs> up there, it's a sloppy makeup job. I, you know, it's really cruel Make to treat your prisoners like by putting them in places with all your benches. I know. As if there's some storage thing. <laughs> That's no, very demeaning. No major general in a good army would do that. <laughs> no. Oh, rolling oh, barrels. They're kicking barrels at you now? This is the new challenge. Are you prepared for Major General Donkey Kong? <laughs> I don't think I am, to be honest. Here, I'll just collect you, Jing. <laughs> Man, between this and all the hostages from the last stage, I'm getting a little overburdened here. <laughs> Tell me about it. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I can carry anymore. <laughs> I wonder what country we're supposed to be in. Bunker stand? They kind, of, they kind of said it like Libot or something. I think it's supposed to be Gaddafi from Libya, but you know how video games would do that thing. <laughs> a lot of foresight there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? You know, this will really mean something to people in about <laughs> yeah, a little over 20 years or so. <laughs> anyway, now the arrows are pointing up. Oh, it's directing you to the hostage. Yes, to, the, to Robert. <laughs> they wanted you to know where he was. I like how everyone is like first name basis in this game. Like they're all really friendly. <laughs> how could Lloyd's government betray? We him? need you to rescue Robert. <laughs> so who's in charge of the barrel rolling? Um, Dave. <laughs> Don't Dave. <laughs> I would Dave. Oh, that Dave. he's achieved the class of barrel roller. God Almighty. We might be at ten thousand experience points away from that. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> you might need to go back to a previous level and farm for a little bit before you're ready for this. <laughs> I don't know. We can take on some more quests. Maybe become commander of the armed forces by level 11. I, I have a feeling you're speedrunning this game. Maybe you skip some side quests along the way. <laughs> I, think I, I, I think a Phil needed a rescuing in one of the previous levels. I'm wondering if the ultimate level is like Minesweeper or something. Oh god, I don't even want to think about that. <laughs> I don't want to think about how high in the armed forces <laughs> He was trying to climb to over that barrel. <laughs> well, he shouldn't have tried that. These barrels are all carefully arranged under the letter I. <laughs> so... Was it spelling out a secret message? Actually, I think it was. It was e uh, Ebby in another, Japanese. Another one of Last Alert's mini Easter eggs. <laughs> this is where Hideo Kojima drew a lot of his inspiration for the Easter eggs in Metal Gear. <laughs> I like these hostages. You're just shooting people in their room, and they're just, like, sitting there. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. I'm bushed. <laughs> no, I gotta go with you. Ding! Right. I didn't even make my bed. Don't worry about that. <laughs> I sleep lying down with my pillow in the center of the bed. <laughs> How do we get in here? You see those red things on the walls? I swear to God, those are the last alerts. <laughs> <laughs> I know I said it before. Well, the barrel rolling strategy didn't pay off there. Please don't enter that door, sir. <laughs> I know you're a major general and you can do what you like. <laughs> do you think major is like the rank of major or like major means really? <laughs> like you're I, I, really you're, a general you're right a now. Siri. You're not a You're a minor general, my yeah. friend. You are really a severe a general. Exactly. Jesus. I wonder if I collect all these hostages that they're going to say, like, you know, help me or whatever. Actually, these hostages are worth a thousand experience points apiece. <laughs> they're, they're the reason I'll be promoted beyond Major General. <laughs> Come here, you're going to do a lot of uh, progress towards enhancing my rank. So, as part of your performance review, how many hostages did you rescue? Sixteen. Just look at what's all tethered to my back right now. <laughs> I you tell I, me. I thought I heard some jingling as you came up upon. <laughs> Ching, he puts bells on all of them. <laughs> I want to keep track of all you guys. You're like my little kittens. Okay? Yeah, I was thinking that the hostages naturally made a sort of ting sound whenever they moved or anything. <laughs> that just confirmed that they have verified that you picked them up. Hold on, I just want to sit here and farm a little. <laughs> See if I can... This is one of those endless spawning rooms. <laughs> Really good All for right, getting then. golden experience. Okay. I guess I guess Major General's good enough. We'll just dodge these barrels here. And... <laughs> the music is excellent. Oh no, it's uh, it's Major General music. Ah, basically, yeah. is what I'm saying. Yeah. No, I think a Major General could have only that could have composed this music. <laughs> now, <laughs> what? I'm a metal soldier. I, I wonder if that means I'm made of metal or I really like metal. Yeah, I you know, the music's kind of gotten to you a little bit, so you're throwing up the horns a little bit more. I see, gotcha. <laughs> this soldier clearly rocks out to Pantera. <laughs> Whoa. There's a Y at that barrel formation. Mm -hmm. As in... Why are you why still are playing you it? <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't level 10 enough for you? You're a metal soldier, what more do you want from us? <laughs> no, serious. We have nothing more to give you. <laughs> we what can, the? Oh. 
<laughs> I'll burn you to death with these flames. How do you want it done? Rare or medium? Is well done an option? Sorry, I don't like roast pork. Wait, what? Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> You're a metal soldier. Your bird should be better than that. <laughs> Metal soldier, but kind of low on vocabulary. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, that is not <laughs> that's hard, boss. Those taunts were so weak that he had very small HP. <laughs> he found out what they are. Like. What they are. Now we get a choice. Uh, a choice. Oh, the There's moral choices in this game. It's like Bioshock of the late 80s. <laughs> we can go red, blue, or black. Okay. Let's start with red. Why not? <laughs> Why the hell not? <laughs> This is the important minecart level of Turtle <laughs> Kadats, where they were bringing dirt from one place. Some dirt, some rocks, and some uh, giant jacks. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's how you uh, took cover. You know, I don't think our sandbags are doing what they're supposed to. <laughs> well, bring out the giant jacks. We'll bring them in by minecart. I don't think those are doing what they're supposed to do either. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> yeah, that was a tricky gameplay oh, challenge. Oh. <laughs> Look at those rusted jeeps. Six flags over last alert. No wonder Colonel Kadot's like this. He's running out of gas for his jeeps. It's like a Mad Max dystopia. <laughs> These guys are having so much fun, they only think to fire one bullet when they fly by you. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I'm having a lot of fun. Oh, hits, bad guy. Okay, bye. <laughs> well, you know what it is. You're a metal soldier. They're just going to yeah, make a smoke and attempt. It's like, well, this has no chance. <laughs> it's just going to deflect off his metal soldier body. <laughs> Very dramatic music as well. Maybe they're giant sea urchins? I don't know if you noticed, we have a new enemy type in the rocket launcher enemies. Uh, I, I guess they what they do. You no, know, you think I would notice a different enemy other than the one you've encountered this entire <laughs> game so far. But I haven't. Oh, okay. Yeah. I do like how they went ahead and uh, changed me back to shirtless uh, shirtless guy Kazama. Yeah. That's just to keep it accurate. Oh man, that jeep doesn't go in anywhere. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, the, the other jeeps are like that too in this level. Mm. That's why they, they transport my minecart here in this in this strange country. Are there any tanks? Because they probably don't have a chance given how beyond tank buster you are at this time. But, but you know, the gun loading sound when you select it is a lot more realistic than anything else in this game. Oh yeah, no, it's, it's even terrible with that. <laughs> and in most other regards. <laughs> All right, so- Oh, a grenade launcher. I bet that sounds really hardcore. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's not a grenade, no, <laughs> if I can say so. No, that's that's really not. <laughs> so it's this is the spread gun plus plus a rock. I can fire this at point blank range. Why the hell not? I'm a metal soldier. You're a metal soldier, but you're not a rocket launcher class yet. Oh wait, wait, we got a boss. Oh, okay. Is he? Oh, he's big. Clear the way, Guy Kazama. You better watch what you say to me. I'm really quick on the trigger. Are we in RuPaul's Drag Race? Because that sounded like dialogue from that. I, I don't think so, girlfriend. Triple that... snap. <laughs> Kai Kazama! You better not be having it. Why are your soldiers coming up from the ground? I think he can raise the dead. By the way, zombies! <laughs> oh, for the tattoo on his back. The tattoo. <laughs> Even if that were spelled from correctly, how would that work? Ah, oh, there's a novelization on his back. <laughs> Strange how he got this. Now we're ah, in the so water. I'm guessing this is blue. This is blue. That's right. Ah. And when are you going to rescue something new? Uh, hopefully not in this game. This is still 1988. Oh, right. <laughs> so, <laughs> this Adult is, swim. This is about. This is going about as well as one would expect, frankly. <laughs> oh, you blew up the log. Mm -hmm. This is one of the first games to introduce environmental destruction. That's right. That's amazing. <laughs> that makes me have a little more respect for whatever the name of this company is. It was like Shin Focus Laser. Shin Fo I remember Soft was it Laser Soft. <laughs> yeah. It was and like then some Shin Majukin. <laughs> like Sip Super Awesome Sh Land. Super Hardcore Laser Soft. Death Star Destroyer software. Yeah, whoa, Death Star Destroyer is a class way beyond oh, okay. where you are I'm right sorry. now as a metal soldier. That might be another level. Okay, let's... It's like a thousand experience points. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> at least <laughs> a thousand a million. Oh my god. Look at how many more zeros you can have in your experience oh in the blank space. Look, I'm a general. general. Yeah. <laughs> I really made My it. metal body gone. <laughs> but now I get to command, uh, command the army. <laughs> it's strange how they're not doing my bidding at this time. Mm, really? No respect for the armed forces. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me, but I'm a general. <laughs> 
Even in the water, they still spin around gracefully as they die. Oh no, absolutely. I mean, there's, you know, there's a... Uh, decorum to all this. <laughs> yeah. There's a certain protocol you have to follow. <laughs> die with honor. <laughs> if you can call that honor. Right. Yeah, I, I can't... Oh, this guy's huge. <laughs> this river's gonna turn red with your blood! How interesting. But it's going to be your blood, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> good, good comeback, General. <laughs> You're wow. a general, a general of wordplay, perhaps. <laughs> oh, but it's a general Shakespeare. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Were you insulted by that southern accent? Because I'm not from the south, and I was. Uh, that was actually dead on. That's the one thing this game did right. I like how you suddenly got a spread gun and knives and underwater. This little mask is very Doctor Robotnik esque. That's why he's blue. Oh, <laughs> uh, his strategy just doesn't seem to be working. <laughs> How interesting. How can I turn this river red with your blood? <laughs> like this. Nah, -uh, yours. <laughs> That's what it came down to. <laughs> what if after you said that he just slowly backed off into the waterfall like, shit. <laughs> Not ready for this. I like how they went to their artist and was like, it's not a waterfall without two rocks. I'm sorry. <laughs> there doesn't need to be snow on the east side of these rocks, does there? He has an electric shock whip. How are we going to fight that? <laughs> Except with our machine gun rocket launcher. And your clever wordplay. <laughs> no, it is you who will be whipped by me. <laughs> There's no spirit in the stairway for General Guy Kazama. <laughs> It's all perfect puns from here on out. Is the CIA okay with all these random promotions he's giving himself? Uh, <laughs> sir, he wants to be known as Metal Soldier now. Is that okay? <laughs> Look, Wait, but that's below Colonel. That's not even a thing. <laughs> sir, he's in some village now, I we suppose. Mushroom village? Oh, there's a chicken. Have we been giving him any directives up till now? <laughs> oh, it only took a few missiles to destroy that wooden thing. <laughs> No, no, it took more than to destroy those stone things in the bases. Oh, the chickens <laughs> explode too! Gave us grenades! <laughs> no. And what? after you shoot them, do a bunch of them flock to attack you? No, they just explode. Oh, and the cows? No, not the cows. No, nah, the cows you can't shoot. Come on, <laughs> let's be <get> serious here. <laughs> you can only do so much as a general. Right, yeah. that's exactly right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> not for another 18,000 experience points. <laughs> what did they add experience points to this? What, do you get anything from levels besides vital? No, just vital. Just your vital, okay. Yeah. I mean, we're already all-powerful Guy Kazama. <laughs> General Guy Kazama. This guy, I think he can take a few more bullets now. General. <laughs> just promote him on the spot. You put on a bulletproof vest. Well, that's like four ranks in one. I don't know. A bulletproof vest? I don't even know what to do with that. Get out the thesaurus. <laughs> Is that like president or something? <laughs> I mean, that's the idea, like, the Secret Service guys jump in front of you, therefore you're president. Yeah. <laughs> that, that chicken ate some pretty <laughs> we're all fine. Hey, you people in this third world country, even the chickens are armed. I can't believe Black hid here among, <laughs> among all these villagers. Man, I bet Black is the most powerful boss yet, because he's a giant chicken. <laughs> oh my god, if only. <laughs> All right, now we're just gonna log on these cartoony, rocky kind of mountains. <laughs> That's what that is? I'm not really sure what this is supposed to be. I think, I think it's someone's very poorly done farmland. I think, oh, is that, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. It seems like whatever it is, you get a lot of good traction off of it. We're growing, um, uh... uh this was day four in Farmville. <laughs> <laughs> Everything sort of died. Aw, a skinny cow came to your farm. Won't you take him in? Farmville, again, Lasersoft thanks ahead. <laughs> They're really good. Oh, another oh, big guy is my favorite. Guy. Another big guy. Hey, guy! Let my baby Betty throw you a kiss! You're some weirdo naming your helicopter. <laughs> Where, where's the helicopter? Oh, oh. <laughs> So this, yeah. Okay. It's a helicopter. Oh, I'm back. We don't need sound effects or anything. Helicopters right. are pretty quiet. Get the helicopter down to ground level. <laughs> Just have it hover there. Just Look, I just fought there. zombies. I'm not going to be impressed with soldiers coming out of a helicopter. Well, the funny thing is you can't even hurt the helicopter. You just have to shoot the soldiers. And then it goes oh, away. Okay. And it comes How back. about now? <laughs> it just drops <laughs> back off. So I, I guess it was like kind of a transport helicopter, and that was it. Hey, guy, you dig me to go get my helicopter. <laughs> I'm a general. I can't <laughs> stick around here shooting helicopters. <laughs> oh, my God. 
Is he ever going to use that giant weapon he's carrying that's larger than you are? No, I think that's... Oh, that's his grenade launcher, I think. That... Oh, well, we're Marshall well, now. Yeah, Don't worry about well, it. Well, Dio, who cares? Yeah. Hmm. There seem to be many traps yeah. inside. All right, electric shop whip where he is and tra traps inside. I don't think you have a chance even as a marshal. Oh, what do you know? It's the only other place we haven't been to yet in this area. You know, realistically, we could have gotten this from Red's tattoo and been done with it. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. This is the first stage of four things in it, by the way. Four things? Four, uh, four stages in it. Oh. Some stages, whatever you oh. call them. Oh. Right. So the Dr. Wily levels. Yep. And we've got... Uh, oh, no, you've got the Legend of Zelda moving thing. You know, honestly, uh, they actually work like that. Like, when you shoot them, they, like, stop move. Oh, they stop moving, but, uh... Well, they... Oh, they respawn. Yeah. Oh, what the oh, hell? I'm a marshal. I can take it. A <laughs> exactly. marshal. Yeah, marshal. <laughs> Unlucky level 13. You're bound to have a misspelling here and there. There's like points too where you're like, why did they even add the detail? Like where the ro the bricks are a little darker. It's like, well, now it's an underground base. <laughs> Shit, yeah. Well, we wanted to make this. What system is this on? Uh, PC Engine Turbo Graphics CD. Oh. You know. Well, I mean that's pretty reputable <laughs> right there. So you know you have to live up to the name. Right. Absolutely. Oh, you nearly dodged that bullet. I know. Seriously. I need these power ups for some <laughs> god knows what reason. I guess I really don't. Whatever. You know, just take the spikes. I don't think you. Yeah, I just hit every single fuck. one. <laughs> Who cares? I still retain a little bit of my metal soldier physique <laughs> from several levels ago. <laughs> You're promoted, but you never remember. You never forget what it's like. But you never a, forget your past. <laughs> be a metal soldier in the streets. So, are there no enemy types besides generic enemy and boss? I think we've talked about the rocket launcher guys. Uh, well, th you. that's just another slightly uh, different version of. No, there. I think you can see there's also laser traps <laughs> <laughs> and electric oh my current God. across the conveyor belt and grenade guys. Is Electman the boss? <laughs> no, I. Uh, well, he has an electric whip. So. We're oh yeah, yeah. I don't know how I'm gonna get through all these Whoa. rocket launcher guys. I, I, think, like I think you were just in. I think you were just in the mess hall. There were so many guys in there. Uh oh. Here we go. The stage is so short. Oh. Guy Kazama, how dare you kill these precious men whom I've trained? Precious men. I know. Well, Colonel, you haven't done a very good job of training them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sonic Boom. <laughs> no, this is his electric shock whip. <laughs> Notice he can block bullets with it. No, that, I'm okay with that. He's, well, I mean, he's many levels ahead of us to be able to use a whip like that. How dare you get past my precious whip? <laughs> Well, obviously you haven't trained them. And then he notches his belt. <laughs> that 16 soldiers dissed <laughs> by Marshal Guy Kazama. Marshal Guy Kazama. Uh, Director Leonard, he wants uh, he's just Marshal now, I guess. No, let him do it. Um, I, I don't really care at this point. I can't keep up. This is great. Those terrorists all over the world. That will be causing too much that trouble. That one terrorist who is all over the world. He won't be causing too a little trouble, but not too much. <laughs> we're uh, in Asia. Oh, now he... we're at gongs constantly for no reason. <laughs> this isn't too fruity, right? I'm wearing. <laughs> it's it's precious. I was trained by the last. Wow, he's got dual monitors in the late '80s. <laughs> I have received information about a CIA dog, it's really Guy exciting. Kazama, who assassinated a member of the Force Project. Can we just do conference Colonel call next time. He intends to enter the martial arts tournament you host every year. To uh, kill you, Mr. Lee. Oh, really? Well, that's interesting. <laughs> so we plan to present you with three what? of the toughest what? fighters. What? By the way, Dr. Garcia. <laughs> really? How is the development of your ultimate weapon, Indra, coming along? <laughs> yeah, it uh, should be completed uh, within a month. <laughs> That's not that funny. The timetables, am I right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> martial arts tournament, by the way. Wait, so you have to fight your way into the tournament? In the cave, which is made into an armor. <laughs> That's stage one of the tournament. Will we? <laughs> yeah. We get a choice again, but one of the. Will really we get a choice? We really do get such. Wow! Wow! Wow, Raggy! <laughs> Oh, these guys are different. Yep, this is the martial arts tournament. <laughs> I don't think you're fighting fair. This is a new camp. <laughs> oh, God. In a manner of speaking. I'm pressing portal circle forward constantly. Let's just go down the hall of bodies. 
the best thing is that uh, to make it, you know, like a real martial arts tournament, besides guns, some of them are going to have weapons like that boomerang thing. <laughs> there. Now it's a fucking martial arts yeah, tournament. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. Like, these guys so, take more hits too, and they're oh and man, they so, take two, sometimes one, sometimes two hits. So they're growing size. I mean, I don't know what kind of martial arts you think you've trained in before, buddy. But so, do you have limited missiles? Or no, that's okay, just forever, just whatever. Yeah, I'm a fucking marshal, okay? I'm a, a marshal, a martial artist. <laughs> you know, funnily enough, I think that is how they spelled it. Scratch for this. <laughs> That guy was just minding his own business. Well, you have to guard the power up somehow. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Just load it with guys. They don't have to do anything. Alright, so we're gonna start this 500 seated martial arts tournament. <laughs> Wait, well. So the purple shirt people throw the boomerangs, correct? Yes. That's, that's, well, that's how most armies work. Excuse me, martial arts tournaments. <laughs> right. I think that's how Gen. There is a real difference between these martial artists and the soldiers he fought before. There's those guys whose fire or shoulders are on fire, I think. Yeah. That guy just turned into a med pack. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm glad you're wearing your finest martial arts attire. <laughs> and your martial arts gun. <laughs> well, that's, you know. Yeah. I, I practice gun fu, they call it. You might have heard of it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. Gun In the uh, Christian Bale School of Martial Arts. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, if you could indulge me, mm, sure. why is this guy in a martial arts tournament? Because Mr. Lee, who's part of the force group, who's the bad guys, <clears throat> All right. is holding the martial arts sort of. He's part of the Chinese mafia. So you... Um, <laughs> what? I'm far okay, they back. were just running out of ideas at this point. Uh, now it's... No, uh, he's wearing... Um, He's got armor. Uh, he's It's all over him. Uh, full? Excuse me, excuse it's, me. If he's a marshal going up, he can't just be armor guy, okay? Okay, he's full of armor. <laughs> and he's a guy. You know, it's something like, he's, he's Guy Kazama. He's full armor guy. Guy Kazama, yeah, that's right. Whoa, he's huge. Oh, shit. Hey, you fatso, you're blocking the traffic. He's not fat, what? He's not <laughs> Guy, I'm gonna destroy you. That was a guest voice by me, Diabetes. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that rendition of, uh... Can I say, this guy has excellent trapezoids. I've never seen a <laughs> neck quite as muscular. That is really amazing. I do nothing but squats. Y'all? Dumbbell shrugs and steroids. That's my gym. <laughs> That's experience. what I do. Oh, we replenish the supply of <laughs> limitless ammunition. Of guns, flex. <laughs> Now let's sneak into the communication room. Let's you know, you could have gone straight to the thing in the middle where the tournament likely is. You didn't no, have to I go over some oh. communications. Oh, <laughs> the communication. We, we have a whole new enemy type now. It's it's uh, I, uh, uh these are hand to hand guys. Oh, they I throw cannonballs at you. Are those cannonballs or bombs? I think they're bombs. I think I just saw a fuse. But they don't blow up. Whoa. They don't. You gotta be careful. They got, they got oh. swords they're just throwing at us now. They have swords and drop missiles and grenades and other modern weaponry. <laughs> also, pots full of flame. Yeah. And a conveyor belt with bamboo. Oh, Tomb Raider bamboo. traps. Wow. Bamboo? Seriously? <laughs> like, I I'm fighting guys with rocket launchers. It's either bamboo or a recorder. I was milling to meet you halfway on the swords, guys, but come on. <laughs> Like, ow. <laughs> These bombs never explode. What the hell are they? <laughs> well, they have very long fuses. <laughs> We're such powerful martial artists, we'll just hurl the bombs at you. <laughs> You're a full armor martial artist at this point. Basically. Of course, full armor martial might be reserved for a couple of levels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can't, we can't give it to you all at once. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so, um, I don't know if you've seen the conveyor belt, um, bamboo trap, but it is very difficult to get around. <laughs> Apparently. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got full armor. Um, yeah, there's any reason to worry? I think I have enough health to make it through eight more bosses without any sort of... We also got some core shadowing in the next level, too. Oh, uh, is Indra something? is going to be completed within a month. Oh. What is Indra, you ask? I would like to ask, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> well, well, 
I didn't. I didn't really care that much, to be honest. I just. I know that brigand scientist is making it. That's all I know. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, that's full of guys. I know. Well, seriously, this is a hell Chun of a martial arts tournament. I know. I don't think Chun Li would have done well here at all. <laughs> here we go. Here's two health packs in case you need it, which I'm sure we don't. <laughs> What are these guys? They have like weird square things around their heads, or... Like, I can't, like, I can't they keep, really tell what's supposed to be going on. They keep coming from where you just came from. Where are they hiding? It's those bamboo traps. They got sick of it and came out of the wall. Like, I can't I can't do sticking them with bamboo. Uh, giant pot, by the way. Just... Oh my god. Uh... It's... No dialogue here. Oh. I know. I was hoping Claw Guy would say something, but instead there's a smoky dragon. <laughs> Well, they paused long enough for there to have been dialogue. Yeah, you'd think, Because right? maybe cut? I think, honestly, like what they did, they were loading the next audio Whoa. track. What kind Where of aerobics okay, is he doing? Where the hell did the missiles come from? Martial arts missiles. <laughs> Why do you have claws if you need if you have missiles? <laughs> what is he doing? I don't know. He's just jumping. It's... These are my power jacks. Are you impressed? <laughs> I'm embarrassed for myself, too. I'm <laughs> glad you killed me. Well, that's it. You have six... well, when okay. did that happen? <laughs> There's a lot that happens on Well, Mr. Screen. Lee's at the tournament, isn't he? I, I thought so, yeah. Wait, Mr. Lee's at the tournament? I should have known. But I'm, I'm going to go, go mis mysterious mysterious building. this mysterious building first. That's really all I can do. Now we're fighting women. Oh. And you can see they don't bleed out like everyone else. They just kind of like go, ah, and disappear. <laughs> Because this game would well, be sexist otherwise. Well, yeah. Women were in a different role in society in the late 80s. Well, now we're a heavy warrior. <laughs> yeah. Excuse yeah. me, we don't need to point out Guy Kazama's <laughs> weight here. That's just uncalled for. I mean, we know he has a very impressive muscle mass. <laughs> this is great. I love this. So, um, this is, yeah, these are the Chun-Li, uh people in the martial arts. Oh, we have to be careful of electricity running through this. Oh, well, platform. you know, of course. That's, martial arts. That's a common security precaution. <laughs> Only martial artists can bypass it. I think uh, I think normally a kata would get you past that, but not this time around. <laughs> not in Last Alert, the most realistic video game ever created. Ever! <laughs> no, you haven't used your Pokeball shields in a while. Are those obsolete at this point? No, I, I have nine grenades. Oh. We're just gonna store them for some tough boss that'll come in another video game. <laughs> Hopefully. Did a uh, Lasersoft do much after this? I think this is actually it for Lasersoft. <laughs> really? Not surprising. You don't. You're not going any further without defeating me. Sorry, but ladies first doesn't apply on a battlefield. <laughs> what? He had to pause for a second before he came up with that one. Well, the best is she she's not, she's jumping, but she has these weird like like, like thing that like appears when and disappears whenever she jumps. Uh, not really sure what she's uh, going for, but the grenades work well, I suppose. <laughs> Just like most other occasions. <laughs> Why the hell not? And I'll reappear here. here? Yeah. You gonna throw one bullet throw a grenade at, you? at my. Yeah. And there's another bullet for you. And I'm out of here. <laughs> and I come right back in. These two bronze statues give me the <laughs> man. I knew she wasn't as fearsome as she first appeared. <laughs> Another explosion. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Man, thank God for free health care. <laughs> this is probably a clinic. I should I should just rest. Uh, you know, I should have thought he was at the big building in the center of all this. You know, it was like a kennel or something. Right? Man, these walls make it like a whole new level. Man, they save all their new enemy types to the martial arts levels. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Everything it's like, you know, guys, we have a lot of untapped potential here. <laughs> what do you mean you didn't even use any of the new sprites through level 3? Well, just throw them all at level 4. <laughs> Whatever. This guy's almost a heavy warrior by now. He needs to see some new shit. <laughs> and he can get more experience points. I have from Sintoku uh, Laser Stock. <laughs> there we go. So how many floors are there in this uh, pagoda? Uh, I think like two. <laughs> So it's not as tall as most of the logs and yeah. other obstacles you've encountered in this game. Well, alright, let's see. We're on floor 2F right now. Unless we started in B3, in which case we're on B2. <laughs> <laughs> this is a hell of a martial arts tournament. Who would ever join this? <laughs> Finish him, and him, and him, and him, and him. 
All right, you've registered for the martial arts tournament. Uh, do you need any register any firearms as well? <laughs> Put him in a body bag, yeah. <laughs> yeah! All right, here we go, third floor. So, uh, is anyone watching this martial arts tournament? <laughs> no, they're dead now. This is the dress rehearsal for the tournament. I can't tell who, like, those purple people are. They're, like, they just seem to explode when they're you They're fans them. like that one lady from Mortal Kombat. Katana? Katana, yeah. Yeah, but no, they're no Katana, my friend. No. Oh. They're, they're not quite heavy warriors, either. <laughs> yeah. You know, they're obsolete. They're more like tank busters. <laughs> we have Remember a... that from, like, thousands of levels ago? You mean before we had a diamond and nickel medal? <laughs> yeah, I kind of remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Now, I think this is the top four. Man. I know. It's a martial arts <laughs> tournament. It seemed, like, so long. Here we go. Mr. Are you actually fighting someone else in the tournament? Or, oh, this is him. I guess those three were no match for you. Let me be your opponent now. Mr. Lee, this tower is beginning to look like your tombstone. Wow. Was... I've never seen a single tombstone that's resembled this place. I don't really know what Mr. Lee's supposed to be throwing. <laughs> for missiles just straight up pointing. Very tough boss. What's that thing supposed to... That that's picture? A, a dragon it's, hugging a tiger. Uh, well, did you give me time to look at it? <laughs> Mr. Lee... He's no match for me, I won the tournament! <laughs> this follows, by the way, you stopped all terrorist activity. <laughs> oh. That's a bit of a step down, isn't it? Now we're on a yeah. cruise. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> they forgot to translate this. We didn't think anyone would play this far. He's just a double. You mean, he's an imposter? Members of the Force Project would not appear that easily before the public. Guy. I checked around the ship. They're loading an enormous amount of state-of-the-art weapons on here, like you said. But I stopped all terrorism. I've planted explosives on this <laughs> ship. We'll use that, was... that to look for the real Steve. What? <laughs> that was a poorly thought-out plan. <laughs> to the prosperity and glory of the Dual Foundation. Cheers. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Crash is <laughs> <laughs> That guy can Thomas. <laughs> that slightly upsets us. <laughs> now I'll pull out my gun. <laughs> Force through the party floor at whatever cost. Kill everyone. <laughs> I like how they get our sprite in the white suit. <laughs> you know. Here's our banquet. One full table, no chairs. We don't want these tables at all close together. <laughs> Spread them out. Make the people stand at the table. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Serve the exact same food in the exact same layout. <laughs> and fill the, invite a thousand soldiers to the party. <laughs> oh, we have the new weapon, the M60, which is now a bigger spread. <laughs> Last the work kind of ran out of ideas. Oh, uh, Mad Thunder? Yeah, now we're Mad Thunder. Mm. We're not just Thunder, we're <laughs> Mad Thunder. They were ahead of the times with the slang, too, basically. Are you ready to gain one more level and become Extreme Thunderbolt? <laughs> I think at this point they're really out of ideas. We're lucky if we get words at all. <laughs> I think the next level is like XJ339. The next level is private for some reason. <laughs> Iron Soldier. <laughs> right. I mean, you know, whatever. Party Crasher. Oh, is that turkey on the floor up, or chicken on the floor power up? Yes, it oh, is. It's explosive. Yep, it's explosive power up. There've been a couple Does it hold grenades and missiles? <laughs> Let's hope so. Mm. Now, um, I guess the things up here are supposed to be stairs. They just will get to them in a second, but... <laughs> yeah. I mean, this has been beautiful artwork. I'm sorry, I just want to farm past Mad Thunder <laughs> yeah. for a bit. Mad Thunder's kind of an anticlimactic level. Yeah, when we get past there we it. go. There's, they're perfectly perpendicular to each other's stairs. Well drawn. <laughs> wow. I think a robot drew this. What the fuck? Human stairs go kind of <laughs> diagonal if you are not looking at them correctly. <laughs> this is Carnival Cruise. <laughs> Do you think the yeah. like the, the translators here are just like, you know, this game isn't fun at all. Just like, <laughs> but just get people off the street. Oh, wait. I guess you're what they call an uninvited guest. What? So what are you going to do with me? I'll throw you into the sea after I get you. <laughs> This guy sounds like he has like some weird New York accent all of a sudden. <laughs> He's been changing accents quite a bit throughout this game. I have the feeling it's like there's only like two voice actors. Oh wait, now we're Final Command. Oh. <laughs> look at this leaf behind the delicious, delicious The delicious explosive food. 
<laughs> Wait, <laughs> who's the fake Steve? The fake Steve was the guy giving the toast before that we blew up. Or oh. the ship. Right. Yeah, now we have to find the real Steve. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> There's tanks on the ship, by the way. Yeah, that's, that's the place you want to store on. It's on a cruise ship. We should have thought poor, uh, more before a guy, former tank buster, boarded this cruise. He's final command now, even though he's level 17. <laughs> I'm assuming there's more levels to go. Yeah, seven, I, I was thinking at first when I, you know, I was like, wow, that's a weird number to end things on. <laughs> like, I, we can only allow 17 levels here. Once you get 459,000 experience points, where can you go? Well, the there? next level you become penultimate general, mm -hmm. I believe. I'm hoping metal general gets in there. You know, I'm noticing a lot of repeat ideas from some of the earlier levels with the barrels and tanks and crates and you don't enemies. You so. Even the danger keep out thing from level one. Yeah, that too. That too. <laughs> Bullet, we're almost outrunning. <laughs> Those haven't evolved too much over the course of time. I mean, this is cruise line security. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. Oh, look, there's like, we have to be careful. In oh, no, the Legend of Zelda it. eye lasers. Whoa, that was close. Man. I know. Those travel almost as fast as the baseballs the enemies throw at you. <laughs> I'm wondering if anyone took this cruise besides enemy soldiers. Maybe that's why we blew it up. <laughs> Maybe the barrel manufacturing industry? Here's my plan. I'm going to blow up the ship, but also board it to kill people <laughs> while it's sinking before they drown. It's a well thought out plan. It's my final command, you could say. You've shown me some fancy action here. What? The damages on this ship and the weapons aboard will come to a billion dollars. <laughs> Great. People will hate you, Steve, if you're too stingy. Steam? Stingy. Oh, st so <laughs> they meant stingy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's how much they cared about their roles here. <laughs> Yawn, billions of dollars. I'm so concerned. <laughs> I feel like calling them voice actors is very generous. <laughs> Voice is. Voice, yeah, voice. Voice is. Voice is. Yeah. Snowflakes don't do too well against Steve. Steve's casual strut will not be deterred by what's going on here. <laughs> My uh, spears will rotate, shoot two bullets, and then charge right at you. Hmm. Before magically regenerating. Right. Uh, oh. My death will cost millions of dollars. All right. Uh. Goodbye, Chairman Steve. All right, so Garcia. He's the last guy. Like the little green flag there. <laughs> okay. We couldn't what, afford it. What country rest. are we in? <laughs> what? Uh, I recognize three of these four <laughs> people. <laughs> what are they looking at? This know. desk is so tacky. <laughs> is that one guy crying? Uh, what? Uh, oh. <laughs> I'm the only one remaining. Of the Force Project members. That's not that funny. But I have completed the ultimate weapon, Indra. The butterfly? What is that? <laughs> Boy, ah, once it's launched, <laughs> it will put an end that to all fun. mankind. Yeah, they shall be punished. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But don't lose heart. What? I'll give you just one last chance. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, it what? takes 24 hours to launch Indra. If you can destroy Indra within that time, uh, you win. Is this but, a game show? <laughs> but there's only one man who's allowed to play this game. That's Guy Kazama. I'm looking forward to seeing you. <laughs> As the President of the United States, I ask you, save all mankind. Well, from what? I'll try. But I can't take the responsibility. This mission is just too great. I know you can do it. You can never trust Leonard. What? Who? Garcia? No. Because that's kind of a given. I don't, I don't know, <clears throat> honestly. Yeah. Uh, Wait, look at the map. Are we on the moon? <laughs> like, oh my god, where are you? It the space like needle's the in the center of all this, but other than that, we... <laughs> now... <laughs> The only person who can survive a surface of the moon is a one-man army. <laughs> Welcome to level 6-1. Okay. <laughs> sure. I'm, I'm okay with that. So now... One-man uh, army. We have a 24 hours to stop Indra. As a only-man army. <laughs> yes. An onaman. Onaman. Onaman army. On, oh, man. they've kind of figured out their sandbags at this point, at least. I like too. They, it seemed like they didn't think through the whole vital thing. Like it just goes off the screen. It's like like it's 
<laughs> really poorly designed, if you want the truth. You're immortal at this point. Yeah, basically. Are you ready for conveyor belts, which you haven't seen in quite a long time, that go against your direction? I call this hallway of fat turrets. <laughs> can you survive? Oh, yes, you can. Oh, yeah, because you fire in every direction. Yeah, that's fine. Don't worry about it, then. Yeah. The M60 is nice and all, but let's just go back to our missile launcher. Uh... Let's go back to the ultimate weapon. <laughs> Watch out for all these cracks on the moon, that could be bad. Oh we? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> I like how they built this base on the moon. It's so good that we don't need, like, space suits or... <laughs> Look at this great flamethrower! No p oxygen problems on the moon? No. <laughs> Apparently there's some problems, though. The flamethrower doesn't seem to... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it's, just, it's buggy as hell, the flamethrower. <laughs> Let's not even try to explain away how. <laughs> Ow, I'm a little hot. Uh, <laughs> uh. Guy Kazama, you and your flames, they might or might not burn you. What's up? Oh my god. Guy, long time no see. Is it you, Dark? You're still alive? Who? Dr. Garcia brought me back to life. <laughs> you won't get me that easily this time, Guy Kazama. You're right, Ika. What? You're, you're right, Ika? <laughs> you don't think that catchphrase will catch on? <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Ika. I'm copywriting it. You're right, Ika. That's my Geronimo in moon speak. I'm just gonna slide back and forth <laughs> with two rocket launchers. No need to animate my feet moving. <laughs> you have no idea how heavy these are. This is the only way I can walk. <laughs> Roller skates and slight movement. Yes. Well, uh, I guess you got me rather easily. <laughs> Proceed with the destruction, destruction activities. Thank is this you. an after-school kind of thing you're doing? Thank you, game. All right, let's go with our destruction activities. Oh man, now we got to destroy the main computer of the fortress, oh, man. or the weapons factory, oh. or the underground, or the bio monster. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think the main computer is clearly the choice here. <laughs> the bio monster. Does that also have voice acting? Well, let's hope so. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> uh, you notice we have a new enemy in jetpack guys. <laughs> oh, so no. much different. I, I can see that. Almost, and also more fat turrets. Okay, right. No. They give a lot of good experience, too, it seems like. Yeah, you uh, won't be a one-man army for much longer. You'll be a two-man army. I don't know. I'm a legal best <laughs> superhero. Oh, well, all right. <laughs> you know, close enough, whatever. <laughs> well, it's... well, where do you go from here? God! <laughs> no, I think that was like four levels ago. Oh, yeah. We surpassed God to become one-man army. <laughs> I believe. You, you surpassed God to become Colonel earlier. Right, right. Yeah. Basically, I died and was resurrected three days to become a Colonel. <laughs> you really ran out of it. Look, there's more barrels. Yeah, so where are you now? Because there's like a bottomless pit around you now? So well, you're on some high structure? Fairly, I mean, it's fairly obvious I'm on the moon. Yeah, with a pipe system? Yeah, a catwalk and plumbing. That's mm -hmm. what they built in the moon. Yeah. Also, and this uh, is not the bio monster level? No. Uh, no, this is the main I computer. think I was walking on... Okay. No, he's got a jetpack, I think. Oh, the jetpack guy. Yeah. Oh, wow, it's just like they're normal enemies. Yeah, except uh, they take a few more hits, and they've also got roving droids around that uh, shoot once or twice. They worked really well. Yeah, that was great. Thanks, Moon. Wait, come back, Guy Kazama, superhero. <laughs> hey, look, I think this is the last level. There's no more experience. He's blowing past thing. everything now. Yeah. So, no so superhero really is the last Oh, yeah, it is the yeah. last level. There's no more... Uh, Right, exactly. Yeah. We don't even need, do we even need this red thing? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> uh, I don't even need to try to dodge bullets anymore. As the President of the United States, I agree. What the? This is the boss. Oh, you didn't have any dialogue with it? No, it's a computer. That would be that, crazy. That, why should that stop them? Yeah, no, I, I... Using the same voice acting it used for the previous ones. <laughs> I like, too, how um, computers in 1990 are powered by big blue gems. Yeah, just giant orbs. There we go. We got one turret down. Our snow globe technology will stop you, Guy Kazama. <laughs> no superhero can withstand the power of... Do you think we could make computers out of gems? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Sure thing, Chairman Steve. Just shut the hell up. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you and brigand physicist Garcia. I think in about five years, people will see how predictive our game was. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> I 
Oh, you, only by the way, you only have 21 seconds, can you do it? By the way, the person uh, who voiced all these people, Kevin Spacey. I can believe that. <laughs> he came a long way. Yeah. Uh-oh, running out of time. No, we well, have might as well burn the computer. <laughs> yep. That did it. Oh, sure. Oh, it shattered the or the fire. I... I... Well, I don't know. What I, do you think, viewer? <laughs> <laughs> what do you people at home think? Alright, weapons production or bio monster? <laughs> Well, I would think the bio monster would be distracting the uh, soldiers of the base. <laughs> I, I, so, I'm not quite sure why we're not going after that. <laughs> oh, okay, farmer. <laughs> sure, all right. Ernest goes to the moon. <laughs> Yo, I'll just. And, oh man, these crates are really, uh, really a problem. So, what do they produce here on the moon besides farmer hats? I think crates, actually. <laughs> crates, barrels, maybe. Mm -hmm. Bio monsters. <laughs> bio monsters, <laughs> right? Superheroes. Oh, that crate has a little skull and crossbones on it. Oh yeah, no. Do you think that means it explodes? I think that's a poison crate. Because yeah, you don't eat that crate. <laughs> Even if you're a superhero. That's a little too much for superhero guy. <laughs> Even superheroes. I wonder what his superpower is. Uh, <laughs> he can win martial arts tournaments with guns. That's true, yeah. That's, that's a pretty superhero power. Actually, you're right, yeah. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> there we go. This is where Last Alert picks up. <laughs> <laughs> on this, the final level of Last Alert. So, what was the uh, titular part of this game? Like, where's the Last Alert? You remember before there were those, like, red things on the walls that were lit up? <laughs> yeah. I think that might have been the Last Alert. Okay. No, no, no. When Garcia tells you, like, listen, I'm going to blow this thing up, but it's going to take me 24 hours. Just giving you a little <laughs> alert here. But that's the last one, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be tricked, we're going to be getting another weapon in the game a little later. Oh, is that so? Is it uh, good? No. Oh. No, it's not. <laughs> is it a nuclear device? <laughs> <laughs> Only when we come to the next level, nuclear boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I don't know how we're going to walk past this crate. Oh, oh yeah, you, know, you like did that. it somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh, this is going to be the most dangerous part yet. I know, we're going to have to just walk um, through crates. You have your last alert to get through this section. Let me no program sense. it so the crate in front of the guy. What do you think I am? A superhero? <laughs> yeah. You think I have Look, times? I may be a kernel game developer, but I'm not that sophisticated. <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> Look, here's a skull and cross crossbones crate. <laughs> That's all I have. Pipe in the background. Let's just make the player do this for like 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. really you right. have your uh, copy-paste technology, is that correct? Oh, we better head down the chute. Um... So this That's is, not the best slide I've ever seen. This is where you dump the, the bad crates. The idea. <laughs> oh, all right. So <laughs> then the crates actually slide? We're actually going into superhero trash right now. <laughs> there we go. Uh-oh. Oh, three. You're the infiltrator? I haven't had a visitor in a long time. Who's talking? I don't need your hospitality. Just let me pass. I'm in a kind of a hurry. Don't say that. Here. Take this! Huh? Were you helping them? I, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure which of them you got. I think you guys need my assistance. Plus, do those shoulder things look vaguely like American flags to you? Uh, a tad. I wonder what... I don't know. Mm. I don't know what the Last Alert's real agenda was <laughs> here, but... All I know is the President of the United States wants to save all mankind, so... I'm okay with this. Again? We needed more ammo? Were you out? I guess so. Thank God I have more infinite ammo than I had before I had this infinite ammo. Now it's After. time for the the bio monster. <laughs> Do you even need to deal with the bio monster? Is that your issue? Look, we got a we got a new weapon in this rocket launcher thing, but we'll show it off. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Grand slam. It's a rocket launcher resistant bio monster. Good thing they put in plumbing and sewers on the moon. <laughs> and soldiers. And bats? Remember, bad. protect the bio monster with your lives, gentlemen. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, did you say bio monster? Yes. Oh, so I guess this company also made Valis. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and watch out for the bats, by the way. <laughs> Just keep running. Don't worry about the bats. <laughs> Oh, uh, the bats had TNT strapped to them. Well, that was not a good idea. Yeah, well, the part. We're what just experimenting with security measures. Kill Nana? Kill Ki Nana? Kill Nana. Alright. <laughs> Hate to be Nana. Look, there's rats crawling in the waist-deep water. <laughs> I guess they swim? I don't know. Mm. <laughs> Gross. This is awful. No, I'd wonder, why don't more next-gen games keep the, you know, 
live enemies exploding mm -hmm. gimmick. I never understood that. Me neither. I really like the exploding, uh, the exploding guys. Yeah. It's my favorite part of a video game, really. Mm -hmm. It's been a long time coming. Mm -hmm. Now, do you think there's a boss here? Yeah, what do you know? It's okay. I would. Oh, just a wild guess. There's someone in the water. Something just grazed past my knee. Okay. Oh, well. Oh, it's a dragon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever. What? All right. Well, uh, I guess that just, we have to avoid its neck. Oh, and, oh right. I thought, you know, by the wall, you would have to go up to defeat the monster. Oh, wow. The dragon. Wait, my physical strength is back to the maximum level. Back to the maximum level. Wait, how did beating the dragon have to do with that? You're a superhero, too, now? All right. Oh, so this is the last stage? Yep. Oh, my God. Well, you know... I don't know. I, I hope those two shuttles in the background aren't, yeah. uh... What could the top of the Space Needle hold? Man. Nobody know more generic enemy soldiers. What do you know? The moon. <laughs> the moon's full of mysteries. <laughs> Final Fantasy II taught us that much. That, yeah, very much so. Excuse me, four. Yeah, <laughs> All right, let's get it. Let's get it correct here. <laughs> just blow up. We uh -oh. don't want people to think we're not cool. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, we have to be careful of these electric batons. <laughs> Yeah. This is how we keep people away from concerts in the future, <laughs> aka 1990. Yeah, assuming people aren't superheroes. <laughs> Which is a wild assumption. <laughs> After superhero, where can you go? <laughs> yeah. It's not surprising they ran out of both adjective oh. and noun. <laughs> this music really makes me feel like it's the last alert. Yeah. So the final cutscene, uh, does this game not leave any loose ends? Does it have a pretty satisfactory closing? Did it even start with any threats of any kind? I um, mean... it started with only the best intrigue I've ever seen. <laughs> I wonder why the Lloyd uh, Corporation country nation had to <laughs> betray that army that I guess we were mourning in the graveyard. Well, you know, that's something for the viewer to think about. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, it ties into the social issues of our modern day. It's like after that army got um, uh, killed, you know, the, that guy Leonard was like, I bet Guy Kazama will be in the graveyard mourning this. I better, <laughs> yeah. go, better go see him. Yeah. <laughs> we have a five-point action plan, I call it, <laughs> to get rid of this uh, get rid of this problem. What do you think? As the President of the United States, I endorse your plan. <laughs> you mean President Allman? No, not the guy with the imposter. No, I'm not the fake president. <laughs> Okay. Not the one with the rock. Do you see a rocket launcher on my shoulder? <laughs> yeah, I know there's a lot of those floating around. <laughs> I like how this is the big, world's biggest throne room. <laughs> no, God. On the moon. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We cannot pack enough sprites on one screen. <laughs> if we could just achieve maximum slowdown. Much like the moon has one six gravity, there's one six slowdown going on right now. <laughs> and at the end of the throne room... Nothing. Oh, wait. Oh. So we meet finally, Dr. Garcia. Guy Kazama, you have foiled every one of my ambitions. You're going to have to pay for this. What were his ambitions exactly? I'm not really sure. He wanted to wear two monocles, maybe? Maybe. Yeah. We wanted to laugh about how his project wouldn't be completed for a little while. So there's a lot of strategy to this fight. Yup. Oh no, my ambitions. <laughs> Oh, it's a multi-stage final boss fight. We have to run after Another him. first by Lasersoft. <laughs> Look at that tiny truck. That's actually gigantic. I'm going to take the... this rocket to the moon? Wait, wait, yeah, wait a second. Where are we going? We're back in the... I better not leave a second shuttle for him <laughs> to follow me on. Oh. I knew I shouldn't have that truck deliver two shuttles. Look at that, the mountains and sky of the moon. <laughs> what? Now to the moon's moon. Oh, well, um, right off camera game. It's a satellite <laughs> of the moon. Very clever. I've never yeah. seen anything do that. Okay, yeah. maybe Indra's gonna destroy the Earth and he'd live on the moon. Oh, <laughs> we parked our shuttles right next to each other. <laughs> That's good, we know where we parked. You didn't even park appropriately. I, by the way, I definitely don't need a spacesuit for this. I'm a <laughs> I, oh, yeah. Well, you were fine on the moon. <laughs> right. But just in case you thought maybe there was some sort of artificial atmosphere or anything. No, there wasn't. Mm. This is just space. <laughs> and there's gravity here and robots that throw a shoot at you. And just another one of his ambitions. Oh, that was easy. Why would a hireling soldier like you run such a risk to torment me like this? Why? Garcia, nobody can hire my feelings. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> that's uh. What? <laughs> that's line of the game for me, I think. All right, I'm going to put my feelings on eBay <laughs> and see what happens. I'm gonna go freelancer.org for my feelings. <laughs> I can get a good. Hourly. You can't have my superhero feelings for nothing. Hourly rate for feelings. Is this thing out of control? Is he one of those teapot rides? <laughs> uh oh. Oh wow, that was really easy. No. Oh, wait, he's, he's become a, a skeleton monster. Yep, he's with uh, with rotating um, a teleporting skeleton monster. Oh well. Well yeah, with long blue hair. This is like eight anime things in one. You have finally My defeated your arch rival Garcia and stopped his drinking habit. But you have to stop Indra to save the Earth. From what crashing? I'm assuming. I was assuming blowing it up. Oh. Oh, he's a snatcher. Oh, he's a snatcher. Yeah. yeah. He bleeds green. So that explains why he was wearing the monocle I've earlier. Lost. Oh. Yeah. My Indra's already been started. What? Huh? It'll put an end to humanity. Humanity. Why? Oh. That makes me cry some tears and sweat. Isn't there a way He's crying. to stop Indra? <laughs> <laughs> not, not unless you destroy Indra. But and here's how you do it. If you do. <laughs> He's an elf, if by the you way? you do. Okay. You will. Elf snatcher. All right. Sorry. Also, what? die. Uh, <laughs> by blowing up the station that you're on, you will also... Die. But... All right. How did you reach that conclusion? Doesn't matter. Now we have to go do that. Can you do it in five minutes? I don't know. No. There, there he is. <laughs> His hair's a little bit different. <laughs> it's, it's intact somehow. <laughs> now we have the elevator level. Oh. This doesn't quite, um, like it seems like the perspective on the elevator is <laughs> yeah, quite Yeah, it's almost mad. like it's still a side scroll. <laughs> yeah, it's very strange. <laughs> We want the appearance of going up. The enemies are flat against you. It's kind of like you're approaching them at an angle. So you're never going to reach level 20. No. Level 19 is where it ends. Mm, it's disappointing. I mean, you through this whole game, you got four bronze trophies. I know. It's kind of a letdown. I know. and it, But, you know, once you leave level 19, a.k.a. superhero, <laughs> where is there to go? That's so true. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Besides, we're gonna beat Indra after beating Garcia and Steve <laughs> and Mr. Lee. I mean, we've had quite the adventure. I'd like to say this is the last alert for Guy Kazama. And they're just anyway. throwing all sorts of new enemies at you too. I know. I think those are those like little uh, helicopter things from the Metal Gear game. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Oh, we have to watch out for plastic explosive with timers there for <laughs> some stupid reason. Yeah. Well, if I were Indra, that's what I would do. Mm -hmm. It's a sensible thing. Right. It only takes one little thing off of energy, too. <laughs> they really have nothing that they can do with us. It's a good thing that the imminent destruction of the space station isn't stopping the elevator. No, no, no. You mean the imminent destruction of the Earth? <laughs> I don't know why the Force group did this, honestly. I don't think they thought about their plan, too. Oh, is that a boss? Uh, no. Oh, <laughs> <Yes>. Just a <laughs> ball. Never mind. All right. <laughs> well. Oh, no, there's two of them. Can you? I don't know. This oh, you. Oh, no, you took minimal damage. <laughs> oh, man. You Your superhero careful. vitality is minimally compromised. Oh, my God. That's the ball. <laughs> it left us a red oh, health package. You know what that means. Full health. Wait, what? Said, here I come. Who are you talking to? The you computer to machine? Yeah, thing? Indra. I thought we already destroyed the station's computer. Uh, well, Look, it's, it'd be challenging if I didn't have like a million health. But to stop Indra, you have to destroy Indra. That, run that by me again? To stop, stop Indra, Indra, destroy Indra. Indra. That was a key plot device that was conveyed to you earlier in the last uh, emotional yeah, cutscene. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. right. That's right. You know what it is. It's been such a whirlwind story. <laughs> no. Uh oh, this is it, the real final boss. I mean, this now. is just like the end of Metal Gear Solid 3. <laughs> I'm still in a dream, last alert. <laughs> oh my god. god I hope you don't have to climb some huge ladder with only one minute remaining. I feel like I am doing that right now. <laughs> it does kind of feel like that, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's funny, the whole game kind of felt yeah, like that. Like you were climbing some never ending thing, reaching a plateau that you would never get to. Uh oh, now I think that's the end. Oh, it. I wonder if Guy Kazama uh, survives the fiery reentry into Earth's atmosphere. I'm gonna guess.
you're going to hold that guess, right? Cause I, no, I was just wowed by those sound effects. I was <laughs> caught off guard. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't. Yeah. C019045. This is Guy calling Secretary Leonard. C019045. <laughs> We're on a first name basis, right? This is I'm Guy reading this off my Secretary AAA card. <laughs> Leonard. It's you, Guy. This is Leonard. You're alive. I knew you could do it. I said I couldn't trust anything you said, but it seems for once. I told the guy in the background with a right. bad comb over to do something about that. Don't worry about that. Where are you? I wonder. The signal's already been sent. I'm tired of sunbathing. Come and pick me up right away. <laughs> now it's something for the ladies. Look at that. Reach our core audience. I like how they animate him blinking. Like it's just one static image. Well, remember in the earlier cutscene how they communicated by blinking? <laughs> That's a, oh, well, that's over. That's the last alert, huh? Quite a game. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> and here's the whole cast. <laughs> Kai is almost uh, by David. Look at that giant ropey neck. I, I need to tell the... David to do a very good job. Leonard. His mustache is getting further apart. It's like an it's, opposite Hitler. It's like parting the Red Sea. Okay, it was okay. She was a good character. Yeah, yeah. Remember nice. when she wore that uh, headset at the end there and said oh, yeah. something? No, yeah. that was good. Dark Dan, because oh, he's really tan, Dan. He's the guy who found the president, we, I think. Yeah, I, I sure. Guess. Oh, wait. Dark, it's, Dark oh, was played by the again? same guy as Kadat, no. you don't say! I'm kind of surprised there's some overlap in these voice <laughs> actors. Strange, I wouldn't have seen that coming. Alan, was your script, in all your, were all your W's replaced with R's? Wait a minute, you're telling me the guy who played Kadat and Dark also played Steve? How? That just makes no sense. I, I've, I've heard Mark in other things. I've really liked his work. <laughs> yeah, he was very inebriated in those things as well. <laughs> Please don't tell them my last name. <laughs> Actually, that goes for me too. Yeah, same here, Dan. Visual, a series of ellipses. <laughs> oh, this is his self-portrait. <laughs> oh, Hayashi, this is my son. You have truly mastered the art of storytelling. <laughs> That's an interesting scenario, B. Mitsui. I think we can make a video game out of that. I can think of four more scenarios. If you <laughs> <laughs> continuity. Well, your work is half complete, but I think we can roll with it. I really think we should hire a separate guy to maintain continuity. <laughs> Character? I think he's just the same guy as the continuity. I kind of remember seeing the <laughs> Maybe. name here. <laughs> Maybe he was one of the voice actors as well. Maybe he was telling everyone to be really, like, stand up. <laughs> Picture. Sure. Okay, sure. There were two people in charge of picture. And they were all on fire. <laughs> yeah, it seems like Guy is just burning alive here. Like, he actually died I in will orbit. find my pupils. Maybe his last thoughts were being How rescued. How many pic people same. did picture? I don't know, but other people did graphics. Hmm. All right, so was... what's the difference between graphics and picture? Oh, got me. Was there, like, on-site <laughs> photography? Wait, for Zangief? Them? Food? Zangief? <laughs> what? I will pile drive these graphics into sophistication of 1988. I'll have a double lariat on this dithering effect. <laughs> Oh, why, Sato? Why? <laughs> why? Why would you do this? <laughs> why, Kawade? Why would you program this? <laughs> you couldn't have made those crates better, you origin Wait, isn't that the guy who wrote the thing earlier? <laughs> I think earlier? so, or yeah. He, he may have been in charge of a picture or two. Wait, what, game staff? What's yeah, that that, wasn't that just what we saw? Maybe those were just the cutscene <laughs> staff people. I think we're going to be thanked at the end of this as well for going through this whole thing. <laughs> oh, Hayashi did this too in addition to writing it. I was very proud of my boat destroying level. It was Bo one of my best design. Bobon Grand, was he one of the bosses? <laughs> what the hell's going on there? I <laughs> uh, now, I guess. Who's this like, guy this? who's coughing in the back? <laughs> <by his life? laughs> I can't stand this. Box. I'm going to hold this gun and cup some balls at the same time. All right, we'll put case Rammer in English, but no <laughs> Hayashi. Well, remember how some of the game wasn't translated into English? It applied oh, to the credits right, as well. Right. Like, I don't know what this guy's name is in English. Just use but the Japanese just, characters. If you look at that scene, that was fake Steve doing that in the Japanese, but then he speaks English later. So <laughs> I. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little surprising. There was a continuity guy, and that got somehow slipped through, but still. Yeah, so there were three plus people involved with composing these themes. That's uh, I have to and say. I think that. again some overlap here between other departments. <laughs> Here's effect. Jay well, Hasada. this game had a profound effect upon me. <laughs> I have fun. So. so I think he did a good job. <laughs> the effects guy also did yeah. the recording. I'd also like to thank Audacity for the recording. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whoa, marketing. <laughs> Three guys. Don't worry about it. YouTube.com <laughs> was also instrumental in marketing this game. <laughs> 
Uh, just call me Mr. Oyama, okay? Yeah, we don't well, have to talk about Well, that. Mr. Period is my first and middle name, so... <laughs> I don't actually have a last name, so... They just call me Tokajira. Thanks, <laughs> anime sounds. Can <laughs> you yeah. see it? God. So, no sequel? Really? Ah, shockingly. Yeah, nothing, huh. Made by Shin Hayahan, <laughs> Leisure Soft Co. Limited. And they, like, repeat it on the bottom. Yeah. I don't get legal stuff. Well, they're proud of their work, as they should be. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> That's, uh... Last alert. Yeah. Quite a, uh... Quite an adventure. I've learned something. I did, too. too. And, yeah. uh, you know, about myself, mm -hmm. frankly. Not sure what that was, but... No. Something. No. Something. Dead to rights. <laughs> Dead to rights. <laughs> the end. <laughs> yeah.